Well, it's FIVB time again, and this week we are in Xiamen, South East China. Well, good morning from Xiamen, a port city on China's southeast coast for the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. And it's an age-old fixture between two rivals, Brazil and the United States. They go head-to-head, -head, not for the first time, in a semi-final here in China. Well, compared to yesterday, it was so, so windy, but this is quite different. It's wonderfully still. The temperature's nice and warm for the early morning, and it should make for almost perfect beach volleyballing weather. Some glorious shots of the coast. If you swim far enough, you will reach Taiwan, but this is all about beach volleyball as we're almost ready to rumble and it's just such a different condition than yesterday. No wind, perfect conditions as Anna, Patricia and Rebecca have come through the qualification here to qualify for the final four. After winning in The Hague in January, they're up against Sarah Hughes and Summer Ross from the United States, who have also won a four-star last season in Moscow. As we meet the referees for this semi-final, the first referee, the man on the stand from New Zealand, Tim Cleaver. And on the sand, Jay Shang from China. Well, that means it's time to meet the teams. They've only played once before, and that was in Yangshao last year. And the winning team were Anna Patricia and Rebecca winning in two straight sets, but this is a new season. And it's going to be the Brazilians who are introduced first to the centre court. Anna Patricia, just 20 years old, a Youth Olympic Games champion with another promising athlete from Brazil in Duda. But Anna Patricia not playing with Duda at the moment. Playing her volleyball with this defender in your picture. Great ball control, great skills. Rebecca, the 26-year-old, makes her entrance into this main arena on a Sunday in Charmen. That's actually a working day in China due to the holidays coming up very, very soon. And for the USA, Summer Ross. 26 years old from San Diego, based in Hermosa Beach now with number two, the defender in your picture, Sarah Hughes, 24 years of age. She's fast, she's dynamic, and this should be such a battle. This team winning in Moscow last year. Three career wins for Summer Ross, just the one for Sarah Hughes. On their way to the final, they came through Marta Meningati, Victoria Orsitov from Italy. They're undefeated as they've had wins against China and also against the other US team. Multiple Olympic champion Kerry Walsh Jennings and Brooke Sweat, they came through them. And also the Canadian winners last year as we're underway with Rebecca feasting on that one on the angle. It's a good start. Hughes and Ross beating the best team in the world for some at the moment in Sarah Pavin and Melissa Manaparades. 
before setting up this fixture. Remember, the Canadians won last year. Point for each team early on. The Brazilians, on the other hand, have also not lost a game all week. Rebecca again swing from the right side. It's a nice touch from Hughes. The chase is on for Ross, but there's no touch that time. And the Patricia and Rebecca have come past Australia, Poland. Another Brazilian team in Maria Antonelli and Carolina Salgado. Trevor Bansley and Brandy Wilkinson as well. That was an impressive performance in the quarterfinal. So it's certainly all to play for here. More work from Rebecca jumping back into the line is Summer Ross. And that's a great stop early on. It looks as if she took that line really, really late. Almost showing her where the space was before taking it away from her at the last minute. Used to serve. Top spin serve on this still moment. Yesterday that breeze was blowing right into the server's face. Knuckle over the top this time. Good reactions. Nice and dynamic from Ross, but unfortunately it was just always falling away from her. Rebecca showing that she's got the accuracy to work around the blocker as well. Rebecca with the whip from the back line. Once again on Summer Ross from the left side. Does good work to just shape the ball away from Rebecca. Very good feet from the left side. Brazilian pair have been so impressive since getting together at the start of last season, really. Two wins. One of them in Quinshaw at the three start last year. Back that up with their first win at a four-star event in The Hague in January. They were super impressive, beating the likes of April Ross and Alex Kleinman. To that gold medal that week. More jump serving from the Americans to the right-hand side. Rebecca's done well just to find an angle on the pass and put the ball into a good position. Chance in transition though. More knuckles. It's so tight to the net. So that's why the knuckle comes out. And there's an absolute chance to counter. Because the knuckle was on such an angle to the front of the court, it just meant that Rebecca could put Anna Patricia straight on the net and they could put that point to bed. Here comes the boom echoing around this arena and rightly so. Service pressure relentless again this time from Brazil. This game is shaping up to be a really nice one as Summer Ross just chips over high line. Claps from the crowd from Jose Loyola, the Brazilian coach who coaches this American team. Former world champion himself. This time the arm just operating away from the body. More cheers from the crowd as the USA just start to put the pressure on the Brazilian. Summer Ross serving, chasing into block as quickly as she can. She's serving a very straight line, so it means she gets into the net a little bit quicker off the body again from Rebecca. She finds a way to just manipulate the ball to the sideline. It's not the first time that the Americans have tried to jump back into the line very late. They know that Rebecca plays that shot to the line well, which is so crucial for a right sider to still be able to access the line every time that they approach so they can hit the whole court. Hitting error this time from Summer Ross though. Ross again. Fantastic blocking from Anna Patricia. She waits so late. Another hitting error slightly underneath the ball this time from Ross. But credit to Anna Patricia because she's waiting. She's watching the body language of the spiker as they come in the approach. And they see that she gets a little bit caught underneath the ball. And because of that, she delays her timing, swats the ball back. And in the end, it produces an error from the USA. Change of ends, 8-6. Point scorer 
Anna Patricia from the baseline, inside out play, or in blocking, and there's another one as well. Brazil are trying frantically to get the ball onto the net at the earliest possible time. And because of that, no block from the USA. Trying to score the point as quickly as possible. Error finally from Anna Patricia, but it's a wonderful run of serves. This is just how the game is going, isn't it? Blockers getting bigger and bigger. More athletic, more coordinated. Finding ways to score from the baseline. It's Hughes this time with the serve. They go back to the line with Anna. Patricia setting. Rebecca puts the ball away, this time using the block. The accuracy from Summer Ross, tremendous. Once again to the perimeter of the court, making it very hard to defend against. Accuracy, key in this game, doesn't have to be hit overly hard. Service pressure backed up, and there's just little runs of points for both teams developing. Anna Patricia and Rebecca, top of the Olympic ranking, still in the qualifiers for this event though, after their good performances. Chips back to the line once again, and the impressive thing that from Rebecca is that she comes in as if she's going to hit cross court, the body line facing angle as she works the ball back over the top of the block. But Brazil haven't won Olympic gold in the women's competition since 1996. USA have been a little bit more successful at Olympic level as Hughes buries that one to the line, and we go to a technical timeout, one point game. As we thought, absolutely nothing between these two teams as they both look to qualify for the final here this afternoon. So teams make their way back onto the court in a game that's had a little bit of everything, some big rallies, but service pressure from both teams going after this encounter for a place in the final a little bit later on today. Sarah Hughes gets us back on underway here. It's a rare spiking error though from Rebecca. We've seen her make that same approach facing cross court and chip to the line. This time she goes for the hammer. Absolute blistering swing that just misses out. One team pulls away, then the other one catches up. That's the story of this one. Rebecca again, serves straight to the line. She goes back to the line. Reactions, unbelievable work from Sarah Hughes. Not only does she have the reactions to watch the ball off the block, she stays patient. She has a long touch of the ball in her set into the perfect position, tees up. Summer Ross to put that one away. Great run of points for the USA. The winner of this game will meet the winner of Australia, Lee Clancy and Maria Faye Attaccio. They're up against. Barbara Hermanova, Marquetta Slakova from the Czech Republic after this one. And there's a bit of a rivalry between the two teams after last season. So we have a monster block here, jumping in, taking the swat.
passing slightly off the net. Taking the line very late is Rebecca. Chance to chip on the angle. Defensive work from both teams really nice here throughout halfway stage of the semi-final. But working off the body, hitting steep angles galore. Anna Patricia takes a step off the net to keep the ball in front of her at all times and trying to grab the ball. Summer Ross can't quite press hard enough. Good platform though from Ross, should side out here and does. Stability in the platform, finding a solid angle from her arms. Passing from both sides, Rebecca goes back on the angle off the shoulder of Sarah Hughes. Rebecca showing her ability to hit different angles at different speeds. Two-point game for Brazil hit. So accurate from Rebecca. Hits angle last time out. This time she decides to shoot high line. She was just this impressive in The Hague the whole way through the competition. Great vision of the court. Great work with the feet every time, trying to get them to the left of the ball to get the ball on her hitting window. And after a good run of points for the USA, it's Brazil for the leading. The USA have taken a timeout. Couple of spiking errors from Brazil, but all in all, their ball control, as per usual, has been very good. Agatha Duda, another favorited team, went down in round two to double Olympic medalist April Ross and Alex Kleinman, 2-1. Ross and Kleinman then went out in round three for the Australian team, Clancy. And Artaccio as more passing errors creep in for the USA. Timeout wasn't constructive enough for them. Four point game, four will do it for Brazil. As this team really are progressing together. Becoming one of the best in the world. Hughes goes straight down the line. It's a really nice angled pass from Rebecca and the break of the block is destructed from Rebecca again. And this is the vision that she has at the bottom of the jump. You can see her take a nice long look. She knows that Summer Ross is breaking. So she decides to take her out and trust that she's still moving in that time she was but still moving that time is Rebecca but it's a great dig Anna Patricia who's warming up her football skills in the warm-up almost gets after that one sticks a leg out but to no avail three-point game three for Brazil to take the opening set consistency has been key that's for sure Rebecca this time passing on more of an angle towards the left of the court. She chips back line, but it's a great watch, a really good watch from Sarah Hughes. And then she starts working off the hands of the big blocker. This game has got a little bit of everything for us. Anna Patricia, six foot four, which means sometimes the levers will be a little bit slow, but she is so athletic for somebody her size and trying to go off the block. She goes so late, Ross, and that's because of the vision 
of Rebecca. They know that she sees the court so well, so they decide to move the block defense around very late, so they show her one thing and then take it away from her at a later stage, but the hands weren't pressing. Timing slightly out. But a service error will let the Americans in once again. Sarah Hughes needs a great run of service here, serving from the central position. Straight back onto Rebecca. She'll have another look at the court, but will they go late? Trying to go late on the angle for the second time running. But once again, it's the court vision of Rebecca and her ability to access every area of the court that brings up set point for Brazil. Becker with the serve. It's a very good one to the center area of the court. One life saved. Hughes and Ross. Second set point. Rebecca from the right side has a little look. She goes the jumbo pokey, but it's well read from Hughes. She has a little whip, and maybe that's two save. No. Ball's out of play. First set here. Goes to Anna, Patricia, and Rebecca from Brazil. They've been consistent. They've been strong. And the Americans are going to have to dig deep to take this to three. This was the one that sealed it. First of all, the jumbo knuckle going for the rainbow shot. Oh, touch on the block and the first set. It's all about Brazil. Remember the Brazilian team have won the only head-to-head -head encounter between these teams before. And they've taken the first set, 21-18. Some weeks of firsts here. The first event that we've seen Olympic. Gold medalist Laura Ludwig back in action after taking a break last season to have a child and her new partnership with Maggie Kozik. Didn't quite go to plan results-wise, but Ludwig said there was so much good about their play as well. They got one, two, barbecued and left the competition after two games, but the Olympic and world champion who played with Kira Volkenhurst was happy with their performances. The first point for Brazil was a wonderfully crafted ball off the body to the sideline. The knuckle, Tomahawk back on one, it's a quick attack trying to catch the Americans off guard, but an error creeps in. Watched all the way back though from Sarah Hughes. they break the block and it's a good decision because Ross gets back fairly still hands above their head to play a little bit of defense but they're just mixing everything up on Rebecca because they know she sees the court well so they have to keep changing things and they have to do it late one point game early on lots left in this one summer Ross Playing here for the fifth time, having taken the fifth with Emily Day, 17th with Lane Carrico back in 2015. But this is only the second time that Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes have played this competition. They took a fifth last year. They've already bettered that. Passing into a good zone. Just feel the frustration for... Summer Ross, who's not quite getting her hands on the ball in the block. Service pressure from Brazil has been good throughout. And there's an ace as well. Rebecca is scoring points on the right side in defense and now from the service line as well. The pressure well and truly on the USA here, struggling to 
make plays in defense when they have a chance. Jump sending to the outside though. It's a wonderful set trying to push Anna Patricia, but the point with the foot, incredible from Brazil. Courageous stuff from Anna Patricia and Rebecca, the USA. No matter what they do here, it was a pokey when retreating, breaking the block, and some would say it's a little bit lucky, but great work from Brazil, and it just shows which way this game is going. Was practicing her football skills. Or in transition, they're making some good touches with the block. USA need to keep siding out here. Rebecca almost with the flipper. Has to keep the ball on her side though because Summer Ross will patrol that net all day long. And the top 23 teams after this event will be qualified for the World Championships as everyone looks to Hamburg this year. That's the big event on the FIBB World Tour at the end of June, start of July. It's going to be a feast of volleyball for just over a week. Talking to head coach Jose Loyola, that's what Hughes and Ross are trying to peak for, as will be Anna Patricia and Rebecca, but every team here before an Olympic year will be looking to that World Championship. Summer Ross is really finding a rhythm on the left side now. The USA have consolidated their pass. Ross has hit good angles. But they have to try and find a way to stop Rebecca because she's been consistent, she's been a threat when she's been aggressive, but she's been smooth and the placements of her shots have been very, very good as well. Rebecca's side out play has been hard to stop so far. Breaking angle, Hannah Patricia. She's a little bit under the ball. She's looking for a touch, but it's not given from the referee. But the way that she breaks away, away from the body. It's a commanding performance this from Brazil. Impressive and absolutely every aspect of the game. The ball control in their first two touches, but the decision making, the way they watch the court before they spike the ball. And there's another error from Summer Ross. We just haven't seen the same consistency from the USA. Brazil look like they might be pulling away with this one, but the USA can gain some belief. They can gain some maybe momentum, some confidence from that miss serve. Technical timeout has come around again. And Brazil lead by three here. Halfway through the second set, Brazil look like favorites so far. Teams make their way back onto this centre court in Charmen. Just half an hour away from the airport. Just 
situated Southeast Asia. An hour's flight from Hong Kong as we get back on the way. Chipping back angle is Rebecca, and she's doing everything right. She really is. Credit to the setting of Anna Patricia as well. It's super consistent. But due to the good passing, good approach work from Rebecca, she always gives herself options and the good vision as well, which we've spoken about many times already today. Getting off the net, Anna Patricia. Great swing to the line from Summer Ross. Knows that the big six foot four figure is retreating. So there's a good chance she might just be off balance and that's why the American triggers the ball as hard as possible at the retreating blocker. Right side work from Rebecca again. She chips wide this time. And for the first time, we've seen maybe a couple of errors creep in for Brazil. The ball not quite getting across the right shoulder of Rebecca, dropping inside, and therefore the ball missing out on the sideline. Rebecca, the target, once again. Blocks a little bit more inside. And is that two hitting errors in a row? Yes, it is. Chances coming now for the USA but they have to capitalize. You haven't seen many errors from Brazil throughout the opening set and a half, but they're starting to leak in here again. Passing on an angle, Rebecca goes knuckle over the top. Good court coverage, but Anna Patricia makes a good block as well. Second chance for Hughes from the left side. Rebecca stays very still to play defense and finally puts the ball away down the line. A missed opportunity maybe for the USA having two opportunities throughout that rally to put the ball away. But there was a good touch from the blocker, Anna Patricia, and a good little bit of work in defense from Rebecca as well. When they have a chance to transition, they put the ball away. Angles the call, and all of a sudden, the good work from the USA. has been undone and Brazil lead by three again, but there's still life left in this one. Plenty of time. Off the net for Hughes, it's going to be a struggle for her to access line. But she does quite the incredible job to find that shot after passing so far off the net. Great work from the USA, back to two. Words of encouragement from Sarah Hughes, Rebecca, who's made a couple of hitting errors just a moment ago. Cannon's angle again. That one just getting past Sarah Hughes. Absolute missile from Rebecca. Five foot nine, one meter 74. What a swing was the call from Sarah Hughes, but what a set from her as well. Well out of system, back to the target. No, she has to set wide to the stick to be able to give Ross some options. And Ross with a cannon to the sideline. And Rebecca, almost the same as we've seen previously. This time she beats Hughes to the left hand. Previously it was to the right, but great skills from her just to change direction of her spiking every single time, not allowing Sarah Hughes to get comfortable whatsoever playing defense today. But teams are trading. Serving short. Incredible work. No matter what the USA do, Brazil really have an answer. They put the ball in short to Rebecca, but because Summer Ross is running into block as well, it gives you a perfect opportunity to run the two ball through Anna Patricia. Serving, passing off the net from the USA. Anna Patricia now gets her first block for a little while, but hitting out of system. 
was Sarah Hughes. This rally, incredible chance for Summer hitting off the net off balance, but Rebecca just seems to read the game so well in defence at times, and she's so accurate with her spiking as well. Both teams giving absolutely everything here. The bump cutty picked up, chance for Summer, but she's underneath the ball, so she's struggling to generate power. But Rebecca takes matters into her own hands. Again, the high snap to the line. Timeout from the USA. Brazil lead by four. Rebecca, who's been unplayable at times, gets us back underway. Two for Brazil to get their way into the gold medal game. It's a wider set, and that's just to try and move the block of Brazil. They go off the hands. The drifting block, because of the width of the set, the ball moves faster than the feet. Good side out at crunch time for the USA here, but they need aces. They need to try and find some blocks. As the rain starts to come in in Charmin. Did not predict that one today. Come shot is seen delightfully well. Rebecca is just performing in every aspect, but Sarah Hughes is equal to it. They're diving, ducking everywhere, but the bump over net is wide of the mark. So Brazil have match point here in China. After winning in The Hague already this season, they have a chance to make another gold medal match. Anna Patricia, who's played so, so well. But it's another dig for Rebecca, who's been unstoppable. The USA need this one to stay alive. And the set over the net, no complaints from Rebecca. Anna Patricia maybe question that decision from referee Tim Cleaver. But it was parallel. It was clean for the referee. And the USA are just holding on. And there you have it, the miss serve from Summer Ross has closed the curtain on their campaign for a goal, but they will be back here this afternoon playing for bronze. But the team in your picture, Anna, Patricia and Rebecca have qualified for another final. After winning in The Hague, they are showing that in a competitive Brazilian programme, they are the team to beat. They've taken this game two sets to zero and they will play the winner of Australia or the Czech Republic in the final here this afternoon and look how much it means to the team winning the Olympic ranking race at the moment but still having to qualify for competitions through the qualifier but now they're in the final Anna Patricia and Rebecca take the first women's semi-final 21-18 21-17